Now we are going to discuss about Ohm's law. Now what is Ohm's law? So before understanding Ohm's law, we have to know nature of the charge or nature of the current. Suppose heat is transferring from higher temperature region to lower temperature region. Similarly, current or charge is flowing from high potential region to low potential region. That means to flow the charge, there is a potential difference. If there is a potential difference, current is flowing. If there is no potential difference, current is not flowing. Because, please understand the concept. What is a potential difference? V is equal to W by Q. It is a potential difference or potential. So, electrical potential V equal to W by Q. Electric potential V equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R. This is the formula for the electric potential. To understand the Ohm's law and we have to know the concept of potential that was already discussed in static electricity. We already discussed in static electricity, electrical charge, electric potential and potential difference, electric field strength. In case of potential, V equal to W by Q, the potential V equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R. I am saying I potential region, if there is charge is I, if charge is I, potential is I, if charge is low, potential is low, that means what? I potential region means I charged region. Low potential region means low charged region. There is no any critical concept here. Heat is transferring high temperature region to low temperature region. Similarly, charge or current is flowing from high charged region to low charged region. High charged region means high potential region. Low charged region means low potential region. That means charge is flowing from high potential region to low potential region. To flow the charge, there is a potential difference. If there is a potential difference, then only charge is flowing through that conductor. Statement was given by Ho. Hence, this law is known as Ohm's law. What is Ohm's law? Suppose this is one conductor. This is terminal A and terminal B. Okay, the potential difference between these two terminals is V. And uh, current is flowing in the, through this conductor is I. According to Ohm's law, the potential difference is directly proportional to current. The potential difference is directly proportional to current uh, at constant temperature. V proportional to I, V equal to I into R, I is equal to V by R. This is the Ohm's law. R is nothing but one constant. The constant is also known as the resistance of this conductor. Okay? Now, this I equal to V by R. I equal to V by R is the Ohm's law. R is the resistance. What is Ohm's law? This Ohm's law is applicable only at constant temperature. Based on Ohm's law, conductors are two types. Ohmic conductors, non-Ohmic conductors. Before that one, I am writing here Ohm's law. The potential difference is directly 
proportional to current at constant temperature. This is called Ohm's law. Okay? So, what is Ohm's law equal to V by R? So, based on Ohm's law, so conductors are two types. Number one, ohmic conductors, non ohmic conductors. Okay? That means, for example, metals and good conductors. Ohm's law, they are known, known as ohmic conductors. Non ohmic conductors are what? Resistors and uh, semiconductors are the non ohmic conductors. Marini updates course on Ramaya come to the coaching center YouTube channel. Ni. Subscribe to the channel, like and share. If you problem and you have doubt, comment box. Lo, comment Thanks for watching.